Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. So, Gemini, this is going to be a general reading. Because it's general, it may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does resonate and you're drawn to it, there is an extended at the end of this reading. The link to that is at the top of the description within this video. Gemini. I don't know what we're going to be getting here for a message for you, but it was interesting. I sat down and I had an idea in my head of what I wanted to do. And the minute I sat down, it all got washed away. Like as I sat in front of my cards and it became very specific what I was supposed to start with and what I was supposed to use if I needed to keep moving forward. So Gemini, this feels like a very channeled message. I'm going to be pulling a card out of my Divine Animal Oracle. That's what it's called. Yeah, I, yeah, Divine Animal Oracle. I got that right. I just have so many decks now. I start to combine the, the names of the decks at this point. Divine Animal Oracle. I have pulled out my Tarot of Dreams. I love this deck. I haven't used it in a while. And if I need to clarify, which I often do, and you know how I love to do that, I have my teeny tiny Rider Waite deck. So, Gemini. I'm told to start with this deck and see what it says. So what is it got to say to Gemini? Something going on outside of you. Gemini. Gemini. Something going on outside of you. Look at it. It's really important to maintain your inner peace right now, Gemini. You are at peace. I see this. Gosh, this card. I often get the message with this card. Like, if you, I hope you can see it because there's glare. I'm trying to compensate for that by tilting the card a bit. Um, you can see this gorilla is watching earth like from a distance and there's all this smoke like there's some sort of destruction that's going on like it's a dark smoke that's coming up it could be fires it could be war just conflict there's so much of that going on right now okay gemini i feel like it's really really important because the gorilla i look at too is like an ancestor of humanity it's it's one of our relatives um And because of that, it's also, it's kind of funny because you, I want to say it doesn't get um, wrapped up in politics like, like humanity does. However, if you do watch and learn about chimpanzees and gorillas, there's a lot of politics that goes on in the primate world. But there's something like a higher perspective about this. This is almost, it's a silverback. It's almost as if like pulling away, like obviously having the experience, um, having the experience to know when to step back and to step in to something when to step back and when to step in is important for you right now and i do feel like you're being asked to step back and observe something this could be something like just in your family situation it could have something to do with a close friend or it could be the the greater world in general too depending on where you where you sit in that um, I'm really hearing like to step back. There's something about your inner peace. It's like a cause and effect. I'm also hearing a cause and effect. Your inner peace is a cause and effect. Your cause is the inner peace to have an effect. What's at the bottom? Beauty, swan, sacrifice, bull. Okay. I let you look so you can contemplate while I'm pulling in the message too. I feel like, okay, this is not going to be easy to pull back from for some reason. Well, not for some reason. The reasons become apparent. What I get with this beauty card 
Um, the imagery is very different to me from what the description is in the book. I don't remember the full description, but I just, to me, I see this card, this, this person is sort of like very innocent and exposed because she's completely naked in the water and she's blindfolded. So she's also sort of um, vulnerable and that's a very vulnerable. Actually, it is a very vulnerable to be, position to be in for someone to be completely naked and blindfolded and she's reaching for a bubble. So it, okay, you, I feel like either are now or are going to be in a situation where you're going to be witness to something where you feel like someone is vulnerable and you're going to want to step in. I don't know why you're being asked to make a sacrifice. Like the sacrifice here comes in after that. And it's almost like the sacrifice is to step back. It's to step back. Maybe, okay, because this energy that's kind of showing up as vulnerable and something being taken from it, this energy needs to rise up beyond the vulnerability, but yet it can't do that if someone else is always, you know, coming in. So I don't know if this could, I mean, this could play out in really many different ways for you. In your life it could have something to do with a family member who is maybe always playing the victim this could also be someone like it says beauty and i'm also getting like there's a sense of um naivety with this like this person could also maybe mostly go on their looks in life they're coasting someone's coasting around you Someone is coasting around you and you, you have like a bigger perspective here. You're, but you're being asked to take on the capacity of inner peace and, and sacrifice. The sacrifice to me is more like a sense of, you know, you can get in and do something, but you're not going to do it. So you're sacrificing your will a little bit here. The swan to me feels like, like someone who's about to steal something, who's about to take advantage of the fact that this person is vulnerable and can't see, can't reach the bubble. But then there's these dragonflies above the swan. And dragonflies to me are very beneficial, very high vibrational. I kind of see them like really like companions almost. I mean, if you've ever spent any time near bodies of water and you hang out in a in a floaty or something in the water or on a dock and dragonflies are always flying around and they're eating the mosquitoes and the black flies they're playing like a really good part in the environment and then sometimes they get tired <laughs> they just sit and they'll land on your knee or something right like pretty like cool i'm cool here and so the, like there is a sense of the this dragonfly energy is watching it's also sort of like um keeping track of karmic imbalances that's a really interesting reading let's see what the tarot has to say oh this deck this deck is getting old too gorilla in peace gorilla in peace You're not meant to get involved in something. You're meant to change something in terms of your vibrational energy. Like perhaps being a supportive mechanism. If energy comes towards you, actively seeking advice or help or guidance. King of Cups. There's four here. Oh, yeah, you're being asked to hold back. You're being asked to hold back some sort of information. To keep it real secure. Boy, Gemini, this could even have something to do with your own foundation down the road. Okay, you have the King of Cups. 
You have the four of coins, right? Like keep it secret, keep it, keep it contained. Don't do anything. And then you have the high priestess secrets, keeping stuff close to your chest. And then you have the palace of coins. So the, it's interesting that I was called to, to use this deck because the, it has palace cards and, and the palace go, palaces go beyond the king. And in each suit, each element that it represents, it's a place of extreme sovereignty and um, security and protection. Like this cannot be touched and it cannot be reached by anything. It's a really secure place. You could almost look at the Palace of Coins as sort of like a Ten of Coins, like a Ten of Pentacles. It is a structure. It is a foundation. It is a place where um, abundance abounds. But it's very secure and protected. And I can't help but the owl's been coming out lately. It came out... I can't remember who I was reading for. And it came out really strongly this week for someone the owl sitting up there watching and the owl to me represents a messenger so owls to me they represent messengers um they do not represent for me a form of greater higher intelligence and i know for some people they do but they really aren't i mean if i wanted to look at um a bird species that represented greater, higher intelligence. I would look at the crow or the raven because they are a greater, higher intelligence. They are, they have been shown to be and proven to be the most intelligent of bird species and owls are not. Owls have massive eyes and it takes up so much space in their skull that they actually have smaller brains than you think they would. So having said that, there is some sort of um, energy here that sits it's almost like parrot energy, but absorbing, but it doesn't repeat. I'm really curious about what this is for you, how that's coming in. There's something going on around you. You're going to see an injustice. It's going to push a button for you, and it might even be happening right now. And it's stirring you to, to want to take action. But you are being really guided here in this reading and being instructed. Like, too, the king of all these cards here are about containment. All of these cards that have come out are about containment. The king of cups has a ton of emotion and feelings, deep intuitive powers, but it's all, like, withdrawn. It's all inside. It's all capsulated. And then the four of coins, too, is about a sense of not moving. It's about a sense of... Um, creating stability or, or, or keeping stability around you. But what I think is really intriguing is in this card, he's literally holding like this keepsake box and has these coins in it. And then you have the high priestess, which is all about mystery and the unknown. And then you have the palace of coins, which is about a place that cannot be touched. This is really intriguing. There is something going on and you are being asked to restrain 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 and i do see here i see like really wonderful outcomes for you if you do that there is a temporary sacrifice for an enormous payout but it's hard it just feels like to me i think of the gemini friends that i have or that i've known and Gemini is that. Gemini is the queen of swords. When something is unjust, when something is bullshit, Gemini is going to come out and going to call it and going to call it usually without much hesitation and with even without much tact, it's just going to come right out. This is pushing that button or it's at least it, it could be serving as like, yeah, seeing some sort of injustice. But it's at least triggering the same nerve ending. So if it's not an injustice, it's a desire for the queen of swords to come out. There's, there's no swords here. Like you're literally being asked to go into an element that doesn't necessarily feel real comfortable for you. It's not a natural element for you. But if you can do this, there's a big payout. Page of Wands and the Magician. Eight of Wands and the King of Coins. Look at that, see? There's the palace owner, the king of coins, sitting there. 
We've got the Page of Wands at the bottom. The Magician. The Eight of Wands. And the King of Coins. Oh, the Hangman too. Well, how long is it? Oh no, that was, re I put the deck down the opposite. Okay, it's reversed after that. Like, how is that possible, all those cards? No. <sighs> Underlying here, a lot of mercurial energy. You don't like that? <laughs> See, like it is energy for you. Now, Wands. Something's being, there's almost as if there's something going on behind the scenes that may not have anything to do with you directly right now, okay? It could have something to do with this on some level. For some of you and some of you not, there is going to be a situation where you feel like I need to step up and say something about this. If you're ta if we're talking about like a minor or someone who is somehow um, incapacitated or does rely on other responsible people around them to keep their world safe don't i'm not going to guide you to not step up because that doesn't seem right but if this is a high functioning adult they should be able to look after themselves and is um relying on their looks or just i don't know they're relying on something outside of their own internal ability to to pull themselves out of this vulnerability so what I wanted to say is for some of you, yes, this is actually a thing that will occur, but you're being guided to, to sacrifice a desire, the, the need inside you, the, the instinctive impulse to speak out about this because this individual is meant to do it. For others of you that it's not specifically like that scenario, it's the same nerve ending. Like it's still going to just touch you the same way where it's really hard not to say something. But then all this mercurial energy comes in with a magician and then the eight of wands with mercury and sagittarius that takes you into owning almost like owning this palace of coins there is like an upping here for you there's something that is about to go up 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 Isn't that funny aries had that they had bubbling no bu bubbling to the surface surfacing and up cards that came out in their reading this is kind of like that this is a big um leveling up here for you on some level and it could be financial it definitely has something to do with stability it could have to do with a big community i'm going to see if i can pull out minute details here with the clarifiers Cups, you have the Emperor. Four of Coins, you have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands. Do you see? Do you see like this? This is leveling you up to some sort of like a major boss energy. Like untouchable. I gotta ask, I'll, we'll ask about that owl, what the owl energy is. But this is like an untouchable space. If you can refrain for such, I don't know, the priestess, the high priestess, the six of cups, the palace of coins. This is a temporary sacrifice for a big payout. Big payout for you, lover's card. Eight of cups, five of cups, the lover's. This is a temporary sacrifice for a really big payout. You're being divinely guided here, but you are co-creating with spirit. So it like you have free choice here. If you jump the gun on something, I, I you know, I don't want to speculate. <laughs> I don't because I'm not really getting cards about that. So I'm not going to speculate on my own. I'm going to just go with what the cards are saying. I just want to say, if you don't jump the gun, you've got a big payout here and you've got success. You've got emotional fulfillment. You've got happiness. You've got the crowds cheering you on. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of, with the high priestess and the six of cups, there's a lot of inner child success here. Like perhaps conquering some sort of internal demon by not allowing this trigger or this nerve ending to get you going. 
The Gorilla and Peace. The Gorilla and Peace. That's five of wands. Yeah, like conflict. Conflict. Competition. Don't enter the competition. You're above the competition, whatever this is. You're above this um, conflict. You're above this competition. Please see yourself that way. That's what I'm really being told to tell you. Please see yourself this way, that you are above this conflict. You are above this competition. You, you, there's no need for you to compete here. There's no need for you to compete. There's no need for you to put your hat in the ring for something that is um, smoke and mirrors. Oh, now this now your underlining is making more sense to me because this page of wands always looks kind of sly. And then we have the magician, smoke and mirrors. But on the other side of that is here, is you have your movement, you have your communication, you have your flow towards the ownership of what this success is. The bottom is chariot. The four of cups and the chariot. I'm hearing you're about to find something new. That seems really vague and out in the open. I mean, because you're in a tarot reading. So you're probably about to find something new. The Four of Cups can represent missed opportunities. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. But the funny thing with this opportunity is you're the one that can pass it by by engaging your energy at the wrong time. In the wrong place. Self-containment is so important right now for you, Gemini. I really can't express that any more than I have. And if you do that, there's like an absolutely incredible success here for you. So I'm going to leave it at that. That was your reading. That was really neat. Um, I'm going to go do the extended. I'm not, unfortunately, hearing anything about what I'm going to do over there. Sometimes that just doesn't come in until I sit down and get ready to record it. Um, a lot of times it's just continuing to pull out cards and see where energy goes and getting some guidance for you. But thank you so much, Gem Gems. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.